Hello again. Well, since the last time I've been doing a bit of practicing on hammering copper uh, and I've made a few uh, little heads and I've uh, treated them with vinegar and uh, ammonia to give them some colours, react with the copper and I thought it'd be nice to make something else and years ago, long time ago I was a scout and one of the badges I got was this Order the Arrow Boy Scouts of America badge and I really liked the image on it and I thought that would be nice uh, to do in on copper or have a go at doing it on copper and beat it and then treat it and all the areas where the red is I would actually hope would come out blue. So I'm going to do that now. I have some copper left. I've been steadily working through it and I've traced out um, the Native American head here um, and I'm going to um, draw it onto the copper, cut it out and then start hammering and we'll see where we end up. So here's um, the first hammering. I'm now going to turn it over and start hammering on the other side to actually raise the pieces which would be white and leave the pieces which would be blue uh, going down as valleys as such. So let's carry on. Well here's where I'm up to. I've been trying to raise all his face up and then push all into the background the shadows where his eyes are so I'm going to just keep working around here and um, see how it carries on I've finished hammering it now. Here it is. And all I've basically used is a screwdriver and a hammer. No more complicated tools than that. So all you need is a piece of copper plate from Amazon, 0.9mm thick, a screwdriver and a hammer which you can get from a pound shop. And then from that uh, you can do something like this. So what I want to do now is I want to change this copper colour into the blued copper colour which I do using household ammonia, vinegar 
and salt and basically I mix the salt and the vinegar paint it onto the copper and then put it in a dish with a bowl of ammonia and the ammonia fumes then react with the vinegar and the salt on the copper and change the surface into blue so let's have a go with that now I've left it overnight. Uh, it's been about uh, 12 hours. Uh, if I open it now, apart from the smell of the ammonia, here's our piece of copper. So on the back, you can see what it looks like, and then on the front, it's all different shades of blue. Looks really nice. So what I want to try and do is I'll wash it, see how much of this blue comes off, and then around the raised areas I'll rub it lightly with some wire wool just to bring up the copper colour again but the blue it's amazing isn't it? vinegar, salt and ammonia and just the reaction with the copper just makes that lovely blue you don't have to do anything, no pigments, no paint just those clear chemicals so let's carry on Well. Uh, I've finished it now. I've got some wire wool and just brought up the raised portions here, cleaned them off. So this is what it looks like. It looks quite old and the hammering that I did in the background to make it look like feathers, the lines of the feathers um, has come out quite nice face looks nice and old and wise and um, I found I say M a lot it's probably because my brain doesn't can't think fast enough so it doesn't take many tools to actually uh, make something nice all you need is really basic tools some basic chemicals that you can buy in a shop or from Amazon so why don't you go and try making something yourself? Practice makes better and just a bit of time and effort and you can make something really nice. So thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching how to make this and that you'll go and have a go yourself. So thanks again.